It was a day of many firsts for the Indian Space Research Organization. The uh, agency launched its heaviest rocket so far. A total of 36 broadband communication satellites were on board. The rocket is a launch vehicle Mark III. It was a maiden commercial mission of this kind. The rocket took off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh. It has successfully orbited 36 satellites of a UK-based firm. The rocket is 43.5 meters long and weighs about 644 tons. The LVM-3 is a commercial satellite mission overseen by a central public sector enterprise. The mission was a joint collaboration between the new Space India Limited and OneWeb. Interestingly, OneWeb is a joint venture between Bharti Enterprises and the British government. At this moment, uh, let me tell you that 16 have been separated very safely as we expected and the remaining 20 satellites will be separating when we are not able to see it from this place. The data will come a little later and uh, the mission operations of observing this separation is continuing. This mission is a historic mission primarily because this is the very second operational mission of LVM-3 that has gone commercial and this is an opportunity that LVM-3 is able to do such a wonderful mission and we are very hopeful that the next mission of LVM-3 will do the same to place the remaining 36 satellites that it has been contracted with NSIL for the next launch of LVM-3 M-3 mission. What are the advantages of launching from India and how much money is being pumped into the Indian space sector with the two launches you signed up for? Well, this is an order of over a thousand crores, which is being paid to NSIL and uh, for these two uh, launches. I think this is just the start of many more launches that uh, will happen from Indian soil. I think India will open up uh, tonight to world's uh, commercial space. And uh, I expect many more companies coming to India to get their uh, payload launch from uh, Indian soil. Putting another jewel in ISRO's crown, the launch has granted LVM-3 an entry into the global commercial launch service market. Earlier, the OneWeb satellites were launched by Russian rockets. Moscow has had a dominant presence in space for a long time now. With New Delhi making its debut, experts are keenly watching for what's next in store. Meanwhile, ISRO's chairman also spoke about the upcoming five launches. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.